do you know how it feels when you are not having success in your efforts in your endeavor there are two ways people take it people develop a warrior mindset or they simply quit which one of those are you so people who are quitters are not going to get there and people who persist will go there how do you succeed if you don't despite doing everything you are not yet having success here is what i have six points to tell you how to develop a warrior mindset so let us go through those six steps to stay afloat be obsessed with our obsession and achieve reach there hi i am samgeeta and i am a leadership growth mentor and today i'll be discussing about those six steps which will make you persist in the game doesn't matter whether you have achieved any success till now or not in front of me it comes from a personal story yesterday i wrote a story it was uh, my t- my mentor's uh, workshop and i was attending there and he uh, as as part of the curriculum he asked all of us to write down a story so i wrote down just in that evening i had discovered that suddenly one of my video was clicking 8.1% ctr you know youtube adapts your video channel if you click 12% so as getting closer right and it was a sudden surprise for me after having i have 576 videos out of that uh, are concerned to like say 300 350 plus are uh, concerned to leadership growth with resourceful influencing which is what how i teach uh, to get working professionals to get unstuck and get to the mode of accelerated growth and uh, so you know uh so these are uh, in, in the covid times many people uh, have lost jobs right so that is one of the reason but before that also i was uh, talking to many working professionals who uh, were stuck in their uh, profession professional life and many reasons are there and what i see is i what always i see is it is the mindset 90% of time work based issues are there external issues are there but all the time if you remember that it is not the others who are responsible it is we who are responsible for our happiness right if we remember that then it is not the other pe- people who are responsible of course covid is covid was external we didn't have any control over that but do you realize that many people during covid times also flourished how was that those people will be very few in numbers successful people always are very few in numbers they are only 3% of the entire population and what makes them different is their warrior mindset so that is what we are discussing today that is the topic today as to how we can develop that warrior mindset despite being unsuccessful or not so successful according to the success terms as of now but you know what from my experience what i know is there are various parameters of success which needs to be perfected before the entire success is achieved so anything anything that you correct over time is a success so those needs to be uh, 
those needs to be documented and how those are going to help us help us in uh, walking walking the line so if you know what steps are there if you anticipate your steps of success right now from right now to the success level there will be if you put big things then those will not be easily visible in the beginning but those big things will be some total of small small things so can we not break down those small things into bits i call them as bid strategies you know if we break them to small small bits then it is very easy to work on each of those bits those are the parameters which needs perfection those are working on the details so everything that happens a sales call that got failed it didn't convert this is a failure but the approach that i adopted during that sales call was one of the strategy one of the way which didn't work for that kind of person so if i know what kind of mindset that person had what was his immediate pain and what i was offering if i document all these three then i know exactly where i failed if i were the same person how would i have reacted so if i can do this so it it requires opening up of the mind broadening our perspective right and then work on what what didn't work so working on what didn't work so this was this was an opportunity for me like thomas alva edison's story he tried 10000 different combinations uh, to be used as the bulb filament of the electric bulb that he had invented now the electric bulb that he invented was lighting for 30 minutes only the bulbs that today we are seeing has got another filament it is called tungsten carbide so 10000 elements that he um experimented with he didn't succeed right so people can call them as failures but he sorry he termed them as success so seeing opportunity everywhere opportunity to improve is the warrior mindset quality number 1 quality number 2 is the persistence it is the new development every day you know whatever you if you are on the job you know what didn't work yesterday and so so what should work today that visualization is there inside your mind because you have you have broken down entire strategy into bits smaller bits and you know now this this didn't work this way then you have replaced that bit with another bit all the time knowing documenting the earlier bit and the next bit so this means you are giving a success blue print to the posterity right anybody who is following you you know you are gaining a precious knowledge about uh, the how of how to perfect the kind of offer that you are offering right so that is persistence new development every day every day you do it and you are so engrossed with the experiment that it it doesn't tire you so it is it is that persistence so the people say that if you want to become diamond then you need to undergo those kind of pressure right if you want to become say a idol then you need to undergo those kind of the cutting stones the scratching the cutting of the stone everything that pain you need to undergo and how 
those pain you can take if you are not persistent enough so persistently taking pain is the second quality of a warrior mindset person the third is growth even if there is no success like say the success parameter is just one right conversion to money conversion to any any result right so that result the ultimate result that we have defined ultimate result is one the intermediary results are many according to the bid strategy <laughs> so <coughs> every time every bid that has worked or not worked it brings a, if it has worked then you are progressing to a step forward if it it hasn't worked then you know that this strategy is not working here and it is another growth growth in your knowledge that it doesn't work that is the warrior quality number 3 where you experiment even if you fail it is a growth because you know what not to do warrior quality number 4 is willingness to suffer so that is what just now i discussed the grind has to be looked forward to the grind has to be there and it is very easy to be happy no if if you are not frustrated what else you are you are happy right even if the world knows that there is no success you are not comparing yourself with anybody it is you who has grown by by the standard of yesterday yesterday it was somebody else the person you are today is a better person than the person which was yesterday because the knowledge has increased even if it's a tiny bit right it has worked the fifth one is no self talk no ory dialogue the the self talk is like how where where you have achieved what you have achieved today so the self talk is you are great in achieving this you have done another day right and yesterday when i wrote this story that i found something and i was very hugely enthusiastic so reading that story somebody told me whether this is real or imaginary so it was so unbelievable even at this point that he was surprised he ne- needed to know whether i was telling a story or I, it was a real uh, life uh, incident people cannot make out when you are obsessed with something there is no difference between success and failure if a person is obsessed do you agree with that so this is what happened yesterday and i am hugely happy uh, because of that right that because of that question you know and uh, of course people are surprised at my determination and per- persistence but they don't know that i am enjoying the entire journey even today i have written down something and i am uh, developing something even this discussion that is happening <coughs> because of the preparation i did today and i am hugely happy that i am producing something if you are in a similar journey as me then you will take the clue from this and <coughs> no you you also can follow me in my books footsteps about whatever you are passionate about, right and the sixth thing is burn the bridge you should you should have no escape route that is what the meaning is you should not have any escape route you have to you have to go forward only no going backwards right these are the six uh, steps as i said the first one is uh seeing opportunity everywhere the second one is new development every day third one is 
you are a new version today fourth one is willingness to suffer you love the grind fifth one is no worry dialogue self talk and sixth one is burn the bridge so if you find this video to be very useful then please comment below and like this youtube video this video is going to my channel also like my channel and also come join my vip group also share the email id so that i can i can put you inside my list so that we stay connected <coughs> and i come up with more and more uh, usual this useful videos like this for your use thank you